Brooklyn Independent Television. My name is Robin Antor. I'm a sculptor from Brooklyn, New York. I've been living here since 1973. I grew up in, in Margate in Atlantic City and I moved to Brooklyn when I was 16 and I didn't know anybody and I went to high school and I took a sculpture class and I fell in love with stone carving. Once I hit stone, I just loved it. Before I was in high school, and I wanted to do sculpture. Was there anything else I wanted to do? Very funny. <laughs> I was going to be a bookkeeper, okay? Because I stunk in English. Um, I don't know if it has to do with me being visually impaired, but my academics stunk. So. I, bookkeeping, I was going to be a bookkeeper and I was going to go to school to become a bookkeeper. And then I went away one summer and I taught art in a, in a camp and I loved it. And I set up a, a shop in my mother's house sculpting and I loved it and I said, okay, why am I going to, if I love this, I'm going to go to school and do something that I don't like and then do something I love on the side? Uh-uh. I'm just going to do something I love. I started doing realism in 1998. A student of mine asked me to finish her sculpture. I had no idea what it was or how, what stage it was. All I knew is she told me it was a boot. She brought it over. She had two weeks to finish it. And she says, all you have to do is polish it up. I opened up the bag and I said, no. This whole thing needs to be recarved and re-sculpted. So I was recarving her boot. And one of my children says to me, Ma, why don't you make a Nike sneaker? And that was it. I took her boot that I finished. I took a photograph and sent it into Skechers. Within 10 minutes, they contacted me to do a commission of a Skecher boot. And then I just started doing boots. And then 9-11 happened, and I'm trying to think of what images to do. And everyone was doing the Twin Towers. I said, that's out play already. You know, like, let's do something different. I said, what is America? America to me is junk food. So then I started doing M&M's, Milano cookies, Oreo cookies, jeans, jacket, pencils, Heinz ketchup, because these are products of America and that represents American culture. I don't like to select symmetrical objects, but usually I like to select like a bag, something with creases. Because my challenge is to make that object with the creases look real. Like the jacket with the creases on the folds, the can of soda crushed, the Milano cookie bag bent. That's my objective is to get the creases. Because it has like an organic feel. Before I was doing the realism, in the early 80s I was doing pieces um, that depicted that I was blind in one eye. And the experience that I was experiencing through the unbalanced vision. The piece behind me is called Detached Retina. I designed the piece in 1981, 10 minutes before going into surgery for a detached retina. What happens when you have a detached retina, you lose total darkness in your eye while the retina is detached. And even though I was blind in that eye that it happened in, I still saw light and some kind of color and all of a sudden I felt the imbalance of a black on one side of my face. And I was in bed waiting for the surgeon to take me in to cut my eyeball open. <laughs> and I actually sketched out this design because it showed force from one side of white and contrast with dark from the other. And that's why I call it detached retina because it shows the force. And the painting over there it's also another interpretation of my one eye is because it's looking from the inside out. Most people paint an object, they look from the outside in. That's from the inside out of what I saw. And I did not know I was born blind in one eye until I was 16. I know it sounds crazy, but that's the fact. 
And when a doctor tells me you're 99, 9 times blind in your right eye, you know, you freak out. So what did I do? I sculpted my nose and my glasses. And looking from the inside out, that's what you see your nose and your glasses. Then it moved on to abstract. Just your general feelings about life were depicted in the pieces. It depends on your mood of what you're going to sculpt. And I guess it just means all my feelings and my gut is in, is in the work because it's, it's an expression of myself. Download this program's podcast on iTunes, keywords Brooklyn Independent Television.